Hello everyone, welcome to the world of vaccines. So in this integrated session, we'll be discussing an MCQ on vaccine, which involves aspects of pediatrics and also it involves aspects of community medicine. I'm Dr. Sandeep Sharma, your pediatric faculty, and we have Dr. Rajasi with us. Hi, I'm Dr. Rajasi, your community medicine faculty. Yes. So we'll be discussing some questions and we'll be discussing a lot of relevant points for your MCQ entrance exam. So let us begin with the question first of all. So question says, an 18-month-old unimmunized baby came to the hospital for immunization. Which all vaccines can be given to the child at this visit? So we have four options here. Option A tells you that hepatitis B, OPV and PCG can be given. Now, uh, if you have read your textbooks, if you have attended to the videos, you would know that BCG cannot be given beyond one year of age according to National Immunization Schedule. And hepatitis B, individual dose of hepatitis B is only given as a birth dose in the neonatal period so because it is a 18 month old child and option a contains hepatitis b and bcg this becomes a invalid option and so a cannot be the answer here right let us move towards option number b and over to dr hc okay so shall we go through option b it says ipv rotavirus vaccine and pcv so let's start with the first one ipv by the way, what is IPV? It is inactivated polio vaccine, right? Now, what is the dose? It's given as 0.1 ml intradermal, right? These are very important MCQs, okay? And where do you give it actually? It's given on right upper arm, right? And what is the schedule? Schedule is, it's given on 6th and 14th week along with OPV, which is given on 6, 10 and 14th week, right? Now, I have one more question, which is very important for your MCQ. It's given on right upper arm, right? Do you know any other vaccine which is coming under the National Immunization Schedule, which is also given on right upper arm? Are you thinking? I have a mnemonic which will help you to answer this. Just remember MRI. So, R is right upper arm. A I is obviously IPV and M is MR vaccine. Okay, so you can remember or you can correlate MRI to the vaccines which are given on the right. So that naturally come, brings you to the next question, which are the vaccines? Those two vaccines coming under National Immunization Schedule that can be given on the left arm. They are BCG and JE vaccine. These are given on the left upper arm. So, these are important points that you should keep in your mind. Okay. Moving on to next one, rotavirus vaccine. It is a live attenuated vaccine given orally, right? On which all weeks? On 6, 10 and 14 weeks along with pentavalent, about which sir would be talking after some time. Now, how do you give it? It's given orally. So, the question is how many doses? five doses or five drops i would say five drops okay five drops and how do you give it i have a picture so till recently we were taking this inside a syringe and five drops were installed as you can see in this picture inside the right cheek of the baby now what does the change now not much of a change but now we have pre-packed small packets of rotavirus vaccine available as you can see in this picture you just flip it open like this and then e you can easily squeeze these five drops inside the right cheek of the baby okay now the last in option b was pcv now what is pcv as you all know recently we have introduced pcv in the national immunization schedule and it is pneumococcal 13 conjugate vaccine we are giving pcv 13 okay and not 23 okay it's given pcv 13 for children now how do you give it two primary doses on 6 and 14th week no 10 two primary doses just like you give ipv it's given on 6 and 14th week followed by a booster dose at the end of completed ninth month completed ninth month so two primary doses and one 
booster dose. That is how you give it. Now, what is the dosage? It is 0.5 ml and it is given as intramuscular. All these are points that you should keep in your mind. And it is given on the anterolateral part of thigh. So, the question was whether this can be given. What do you think? You know, all these three, IPV, rotavirus and PCV, as per the national immunization schedule, can be given only up to one year of age. That is the point that I want to discuss. This cannot be given beyond one year of age. Okay, so that is also not the answer. Now, moving on to C. Sir, would you like to tell us more about option C? Yes. See, by this time, you would have already known that option C is also not the correct answer because exactly. BCG is mentioned here. Yes. But still, let's talk about other options. OPV and MR obviously can be given uh, beyond one year of age as well. BCG cannot be given and so is pentavalent. What is pentavalent? Pentavalent is a vaccine which prov provides protection against five deadly diseases, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, hemophilus influenzae, type B and hepatitis B. We call it as pentavalent. The good thing about pentavalent is you don't need to reconstitute the vaccine. It comes as a pre-prepared liquid form. Uh, usually the packs which come in uh, under the national immunization schedule, the one pack contains about 10 doses in that, right? So you, you can directly under sterile precautions, take out that vaccine and administer to 10 babies at the same go. So, but the problem with pentavalent is again, according to the guidelines, it cannot be given beyond one year of age. And so option C also cannot be the answer here. Okay. So obviously we are left with option D on Only which uh, one option. <laughs> Dr. Raj C will throw more light on that. Yeah. I think by now you would have correctly opted for D. So obviously that is the answer. So DPT can be given. So the point is if an unimmunized child is coming after one year, like sir said, don't give pentavalent. Instead, you have to give DPT. So DPT can be given up to that is an next MCQ up to seven years. DPT can be given. What about OPV? Yes, OPV can also be given. I said IPV cannot be given, but OPV also can be given up to five years. MR vaccine? Yes, that also can be given up to five years. That means the option is D, which is correct. Okay. Now, having said all this, let's immediately or let's very quickly go through a small table which will help you to answer such questions. Okay. So, this is the take home message. Hepatitis B, I'm just concluding those things that sir have already explained and I myself have said. This is the table. Just keep this in your mind. If you want, you can pause and you can read it once again. So, Hepatitis B, birth dose can be given only up to 24 hours. That sir has already said. OPV zero dose can be given only up to 15 days. BCG is given only up to one year, which has been discussed already. Now, which are the ones that can be given up till one year along with BCG, Penta, IPV, PCV and Rota. All these cannot be given beyond one year of age. OPV, five years. MR, five years. DPT, up to seven years. And JE, where JE is endemic, as you know, in some places we are giving JE vaccine and that can be given up to 15 years. Okay. Now, Look at the right side. This is a situation which you should keep in your mind. If the child, having said all this, if the child has already received one or two doses of Pinta, Rota, IPV or PCV before, then continue the due doses even after one year of age. That means if the child has already taken one or two doses before one year and if the child is coming to you after one year, then you can continue whatever is left behind. So just complete the immunization schedule. So that's all about today's discussion. I hope it was interesting and you have enjoyed. So any more things to say, sir? Yes, the vaccine discussion is uh, like endless. We can go <laughs> yeah, on discussing more exactly. and more things about it. Uh, before we finish off, uh, there are two important things, two important controversies I need to address here. Uh, related to BCG vaccine, which students often ask, like uh, BCG vaccine. See, there are two types of schedules that we follow. One is a national immunization schedule and second is a IAP schedule. 
नेशनल इम्यूनाइजेशन शेड्यूल इज द वन विच इज यूजली आस्ट इन योर एंट्रेंस एग्जाम एंड फॉर ऑल प्रैक्टिकल पर्पज यू शुड बी फॉलोइंग इट ब्लाइंडली unless specifically they ask about iap schedule in general iap schedule is more frequently asked in your inicet exams so ideally you should be remembering both of them and you know you should know the differences between them related to bcg vaccine there was a old question where they had asked specifically about uh, iap schedule see if you talk about bcg vaccine please remember that according to national immunization schedule the maximum age up to which bcg can be given is up to 1 year of age right we have just discussed ma'am has just discussed with you also whereas in case of iap schedule the maximum age up to which bcg can be given is up to 5 years because the old question was specifically asking according to the iap so there the answer was 5 year but if they don't mention it and in general they ask what is the age up to which bcg can be given the better answer will always be 1 year because for all practical purpose we go by the national immunization schedule until it is specified so please remember this is a age old controversy it keeps happening especially with if you blindly following or uh, you are blindly following the guides which are there in the market and uh, lastly bcg vaccine provides good protection against which forms of tuberculosis already asked two three times it is provides good uh, protection against cns tuberculosis it provides good protection against miliary or disseminated tuberculosis in children but its protection against pulmonary tuberculosis is doubtful the protection rate varies somewhere between 0 to 70% with a mean range of about 45% which is not a very good you know protection rate and uh, most of the protection also in pulmonary tb that tends to disappear by 10 to 15 years of age according to most standard textbooks so by 10 to 15 years it goes away so remember it was devised for pulmonary tb but it actually provides protection against the most more severe forms and there have been questions asked on these so these are two controversial areas on which questions have been asked in the past uh, these are the things other than nis that you should remember but for all practical purpose national immunization schedule stick to it as if your life depends upon it so that's all from us yeah. and thank, thank you, you very much, much.